Okay, so recently I've been putting some music into my videos. I've actually got a playlist on YouTube called Transport Vlogs. I decided that rather than just if I was going somewhere, rather than make it like a five minute new style package, I'd turn it into a vlog style video. And I did that very simply by, by doing the standard thing of just adding some vlog music. And it's a style that's been done by many people, many people, not just one person in particular. But inevitably I got comments on YouTube saying, dude, you've totally made your videos like Casey Neistat. And he has a particular style. All I did was just add music, a couple of captions. If you watch his videos, there is loads of things that he does that I never do. If you're going to go all Casey, you would at least have to wear sunglasses, adjust the zoom, do some artistic creations, do some overhead shots, do some drone shots, incorporate that all into, these are new sunglasses by the way, incorporate that all into a video. If I did that and then went and did a transport thing with all those things, then yes. And to do that, I, you'd, have, you'd have to take a flight somewhere. You'd have to get a plane. I am getting a flight somewhere today. So that uh, is a class 313. I'm at Drayton Park on the line from Moorgate through Essex Road, Highby and Islington, uh, up to Stevenage, uh, Hitchin, uh, Letchworth, all that. Uh, which is, uh, and these trains are like 40 years old and they're being replaced by Great Northern to get the class 717s. And uh, I just thought I'd come for a ride in them just to kind of see how they are. Because I'm now about to go and take a flight to Germany to Siemens, to the factory, to see the new ones being built. Oh, also, I've got this desire to want to rip open these boxes. Don't know why. Never flown from London City Airport before. So this is exciting. Hello. I had to go to security three times because I forgot to take out my laptop and then my toothpaste. But we're good. I'm in the bathroom. Hang on. There's no reason for doing this shot other than there's a mirror, so I just thought it'd be fun to do. And because it's a small plane, so there's probably not a toilet with a mirror. Yes, can I have a filter coffee, please? Yep. Yeah. Right. Yes, please. You did know I would be on this trip, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? It's your fault I'm here. Thank you. Thank you for the seat. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Should we go with Charles then? Yeah. So, quick talk, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, the light's gone out. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Zilke thompson Potterbaum. <laughs> I'm Siemens spokesperson for mobility. This is a very unofficial moment. You've given your official title. You could have made up anything. Okay. The more important thing is, when they kindly booked this trip, that I found it really amusing on the email. It said, do you have any special dietary requirements? And at the moment, I'm not eating chocolate. Is this correct? Well, I haven't seen you eating chocolate. Um, I'm off chocolate. So I strongly advise, I strongly advise you to, um, to tell any German... What the so, 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 so Silke has taught me the phrase, 
Keine Schokolade, bitte. Which means I'm I'm off not eating no chocolate. chocolate right now. No chocolate, thanks. <laughs> Hotel room. Nice. I'm on the ground floor. Also, I'm, I'm not allowed to eat chocolate. Does it count? Because I, already I can't remember what the German is for no chocolate. Surely it doesn't count. Surely there should be like a only whilst at home in England rule, right? Okay, obviously I've got online. Always do a speed test. I've paid the six euro for the faster allowed video streaming. I'm getting 28, 28 meg down. I'm currently about 23, 22, 23 up. This is the thing that you find about Wi-Fi in the rest of Europe outside of the UK. The upload is almost always as good as the download. I'm getting 26, okay, I've got 28 down and 25 up. That's a good speed. Also, I'm kind of frustrated. I've, I've gone through every single TV channel and normally you get like BBC News on one of them. I just wanted an English speaking channel, but they're all in German, so I, I got to brush up on my German. But then to vlog it up properly, totally, the thing that you must do is what you have to like start a sentence in one part of the room and then deliberately move the camera so that it's at a different point of view so that you're at a different part of the room and if you're feeling really extreme then you can obviously go for mm, exposure auto you can go for a third point of view but that's just that's just getting silly anyway we're going out tonight and all we know what Siemens have told us is that they're taking us to a restaurant where there's a little miniature train that runs around inside the restaurant I totally ate the chocolate, but don't tell anyone what goes on in Germany. It stays in Germany. Look, it's a little station. It's an old station. The restaurant is just an old station. There's lots of paraphernalia in there, but look at this, look at this. I'm on the platform with the shelter. Klefeld North. North, Clairefield, and the tracks are here. Nice, four tracks. I tried to look up the station in Wikipedia and there's no entry for it. But apparently one heritage train, the chap was saying, comes through a week. I've made a friend. What's German for blow your whistle? Here's a control for the train. For what? So you can stop it or make it faster. I'm controlling the train outside. I've <laughs> 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 got a hat. Yeah, put the hat on. Yes. <laughs> so I can. Where is it? It's coming out here. So I can stop it anywhere. Hang on. Just, just, just controlling this, right? I've got the hat on, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stop. This is the moment I get you on camera, Philip. Have you had enough drink to feel like you've loosened up yet? <laughs> this, is where you get, this is where you get to plug your railway magazine. What's your railway magazine? My ma railway magazine is Modern Railways. Everyone, everyone should buy Modern Railways. Abs absolutely, you're only saying that because I gave you a free copy on the plane, aren't you, Jeff? I've been given the privilege of sitting in the front seat. You, you could squeeze in two in the front. I think we're going to have to. Really. I think, all right, I'm going to get, we're going to squeeze over. Are you sure? We're going to squeeze over. And our, what is your name, sir? My name is Oli. Hello, Oli. <laughs> Back at the hotel. 
end of a long day. Early start tomorrow. Eight o'clock is not early start. So in Germany, like it's normal to you're saying on the way out that it's, it's normal. normal to, it's normal to be at your desk at like half past seven. That's a normal. Yeah. Half past seven, eight o'clock. Yes. So in Britain, you have we have this classic thing like the nine to five. So you've heard of the nine to five. Yeah. Right? So in Germany, would that be like the seven thirty to four thirty? Yeah. Probably you come earlier, you go earlier, and then you don't work on fr Friday afternoon. Mostly. Oh really? So like you have, you have done every day, you have um, worked a um, little bit of overtime. Should, should, should Britain adopt this policy? We work 7.30 to 4.30, Monday to Thursday, and then go home early on Friday. Well, just let people do their work in their own time, and um, so they are more productive. I don't think you should have set office hours. I'll see you at 7.30 tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Right? No, well, you see me at 7.30 at breakfast, at, bre we, at breakfast, and we leave at 8 o'clock. And that's... How you do a daily vlog, including sometimes having a jaunty angle. And that's really hard work. And I would not like to do this every day. That's a lot to edit.